I'm going. I'm going to be going to med school in Australia. So what about my application process? Hi, my name's Emma and I'm putting my life online and this is going to be a video all about the University of Queensland, specifically the application process for their medical school. I've been in the process of applying to medical schools in Australia for a little while now and I thought since applications are being submitted and interviews completed and hopefully some offers received, I might as well chat through my experience about each one and each application process with each school. And I thought might as well start with the University of Queensland since they are the application that has been the fastest and actually the application that I've gotten back. The University of Queensland is in Brisbane, for those of you who didn't know, and you spend the first two years of your education at the St. Lucia campus, and then the second two years at a variety of the different clinical schools throughout Queensland in Australia. So that could be in rural placements, it could also be in hospitals within Brisbane, or in different placements depending on where you go. The tuition is about 77,000 Australian dollars. I personally luck out a little bit because the Canadian dollar is the tiniest bit higher, um, but 77000 per year subject to increase, it's going to be a lot. There's nothing I can do about that, that's just fact. Some of the features of the program, it's a pretty typical two years pre-clinical education, two years clinical education, totaling in a four year MD program, which is pretty standard across the board, even throughout Canada. There's a really good emphasis on case-based learning, which is becoming more and more common and more and more standard across medical education. And that is when, instead of sitting in lectures only, students work through cases in smaller groups. And that helps with the University of Queensland because the University of Queensland first year medical school class is about 400 students. And 90 of those are international. So it's a big group. The case-based learning really helps, at least from my understanding, pair those down and make it smaller so you actually feel like you're connecting with classmates as well as have your voice heard and your thoughts and your ideas so it really helps turn that large class into smaller groups. The University of Queensland does offer some flexibility and you can do some of your rotations and your placements abroad um, and there are a number of students who you do try to come back to Canada. The university doesn't necessarily organize those for you. You do have to find the placement yourself, but once you find the placement, the university will definitely help you succeed in going there and coming back and making sure that it all lines up with the requirements for your degree, which is pretty nice, especially for students that know for a fact, or at least are 95% sure that once they finish their MD in Australia, they wanna come back home to Canada. There's also an interesting program called the UQ Medical Leadership Program that students can apply for at the end of their first year and that incorporates some business leadership from what I can tell um, and it's just an interesting way to sort of up your resume and your skills once you actually get into the real world. So it's kind of cool that the University of Queensland creates these extra programs and these extra opportunities for students who are looking to do just a little bit more. And of course, with those larger class sizes, it means that there are more Canadians. Um, I'll talk about this a little bit later, but I've been applying through an organization called Austrac, and they've been able to organize a number of webinars with Canadian students currently in Queensland, studying at the University of Queensland, who can talk about their application process, their experience, and their experience actually in Brisbane on campus. And that's only because, simply, more students, more international spots, probably more Canadians, and that also means culturally you're able to find a group that you know and sort of lived similar experiences to you, so if that's something you're looking for, then the University of Queensland kind of can offer that more than the other schools with smaller class sizes. So what about my application process? Well, I've, like I said, I've been working with a company called Oztrack, and they have been absolutely amazing. They've organized events, organized webinars, I really do feel like I know probably as much as I can about the University of Queensland and can actually make a really good decision about whether or not I want to go there. I also want to preface this that the University of Queensland is changing their application process. So any of the information that I'm about to talk about about my application experience is really only valid for 2018. 
it may still be valid by the time you watch this video and submit your application because of the unique University of Queensland application process. But if you're watching this 2019 on, make sure you go and check up on the actual information available because they will likely be changing their process next year, if not the year after. And I don't want you to think you're gonna have my experience when it's a completely different process. The University of Queensland has what's called rolling admissions, or at least they do right now. And that pretty much means the first applications in are the first ones assessed. If you meet the bar, you are offered a place. So being in the sooner, the better definitely applies here. And I was really lucky since I stumbled upon Austrac kind of at the end of last year's application cycle. I pretty much just had everything ready and waited to submit it this year. And because Austrac is so great, I'm pretty sure mine were in on the first day. So the applications opened in January. I believe mine was submitted on January 12th of this year. And then after that, it was pretty much just a waiting game until they started actually looking at the applications. And I knew I was near the top and I knew I meet their minimum requirements. So it was just waiting to see if I got in pretty much. And I was pretty confident I was going to. And that's not me being full of myself or anything. If, in fact, if you ask anybody that knows me, I would not talk about it. I would talk it down and say, I don't know, there's a possibility, there's a possibility. But looking at the facts, I was early on the pile and I met the minimum requirements. So I just waited. And about six months later, I got in. And that's super exciting. I actually filmed the reaction, but I'm gonna put all of my reactions together. Hopefully there's more than one. And by the end of the process, and submit, put it up on YouTube then. But yeah, I got in, but the process doesn't stop there. Once you get an offer of admission, do you have about just over a month to put down a deposit. And that deposit is about eleven thousand dollars. <sighs> it's a lot of money, and the kind of catch is: well, you do have your seat for that. I think it was about forty days. They'll also take it away if the program fills up first. So, say they sent out two hundred international acceptances and ninety people accept accepted before you you lost your spot. So it's obviously something I didn't want to pass up on. So luckily, um, my parents and I were able to move some things around and I was able to actually make that deposit. So after you do that, your offer turns into a seat. And that's pretty cool. So I'm sitting here right now with a confirmation of enrollment to join the graduate entry MD program at the University of Queensland in 2019. And I'm stoked. So what's next? Well, now that I have confirmation of enrollment, I can actually start looking into financing. What I've been calling my house of a degree and that means talking to banks, seeing the loans that I'm eligible for, and how I can piece together enough to demonstrate enough finances for my visa to actually go. So I'm doing that, and I'm just waiting to hear back from other schools. It's nothing against the University of Queensland. I would be so stoked to go to the University of Queensland and be part of their MD school and program, but some of the applications haven't even closed yet. I mean, at the point that I'm making this video, I think University of Melbourne is still open, the University of Sydney has closed, and a couple of the others are still open. So I'm sitting with an offer before applications have even closed, and it's a bit crazy. So I might as well see it through, and then hopefully I'm lucky enough that I get to compare and get to choose between a couple offers. But if nothing else, I am super stoked that I am, at this point, going to the University of Queensland in January of 2019. And of course, I will keep you guys updated if you have any questions about the University of Queensland, my experience with Austrac, my experience through this application cycle at all, feel free to leave them down below. And of course, feel free to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos about my life and about my journey to med school. See ya.